Okay, we're going to set up a printer on a computer today. So say, for example, we forgot to install a printer on your, on your desktop. You can give us a call, or if you'd like, you can easily just add the printer yourself. So what you have to do is you come down to the Start menu, click Start, click Printers and Faxes. It'll prop up your printer and faxes. Um, box and we just say add a printer and this will bring us up to our add a printer wizard I'm going to click next and I want to choose a network printer um, and what we're going to do is find the printer in a directory and it'll bring up a little box for us to search the easiest way to do go about this now is just click find now and it'll give us a list of all of our printers that are set up on the network. So you can see there it shows the location. This is the name of the printer. Uh, the location is probably the most useful piece of information here. Uh, over here we have the model which is the model of the printer. So this is say this one's an HP Color LaserJet 3700. Um, the server name is where the, it doesn't really matter and here's just a comment about where it's a little bit more about where it's at over here so let's say I want to add the the library in the in the elementary and middle school uh, printer it's a color printer it's a 3700 so all I have to do is select it and choose OK it'll take one second and it'll pop up with this screen next and you can either, now it depends on whether or not you want this to be the default printer or not. The default printer is the one that by default, if you just click the print button, it automatically prints to it. So you don't have to choose out of the drop down list. Uh, so I don't want this one to be my default printer. So I'm just going to say no and say next and finish. And I now have the GEMS library uh, color laser printer set up on my printer and I can now print to it.